Hey, me again. A little bit more. Why do I own this? Um, I'm Jeff Moss because I realize I just said me again and you may not know who me is because, you know, maybe you're just cruising the YouTubes and you're like, hey, I wonder if there's any portly dudes with beards and Hawkman hats out there talking about stuff. Could happen. If you type that into the search engine, you might find me. Anywho. I want to talk about comics because that's what we do here. Again, normally I go through the stuff that I have that is absolutely astonishingly bad and I show it to you and we all have a good laugh about Cap and Thor fighting pizza monsters or something like that. No, not last week and not this week because I want to talk about something else and that's non-superhero comics. I get a lot of letters from people who are saying, why don't you check out this graphic novel or this independent book? And a lot of those times I've read them or whatever, but sometimes... What it comes down to is just that the crap is superhero stuff. And I'm going to show you this book because I found it and absolutely fell in love with it. And it's not crappy. It's not bad. It is Johnny Cash, I See a Darkness, a graphic novel by Reinhard Kleist. And it's Johnny Cash's life as a graphic novel. The only time anything like this has ever been done. The art in it is brilliant. The story is brilliant. I'm a huge Cash fan. So right from the cover, it had me. What I'm getting at is... Just because it's a superhero book, and you're thumbing through the racks, you're kind of like, eh, I'm just kind of looking for stuff, and oh, yeah, I see this, this is crappy, ha, 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 or this looks good, ha, ha, ha. Give the stuff that's non-superhero a chance. Give the stuff you are not familiar with a chance. Pull it off the shelves, leaf through it, because you'll find stuff that's really surprising. You'll find a lot of stuff that's really crappy, and you can buy for a buck, and you can be like, ha, ha, check out this ugly stuff on your stupid internet webcast. Or you'll find a piece of gold like this, like the book I was talking about last week, and you'll learn something and learn to appreciate the art form and a whole other value. That's all I have to say about that. I promise next week we will be back to watching Starfire fight flower monsters or some fool thing like that. Don't come.